What we have here is a Kentucky rifle. Picked it up the other day. It's a 50 caliber. It's a 33 and a half inch barrel. She's a she got quite a stretch to her this one, and uh, they're very very well. Like the price is pretty damn. I think I paid around. This one was 360 before tax, and I got it at the so-called wholesale outlet there. I'm not gonna say their name. Who knows? But uh, I was really taken with the way this thing was put together. You know, for the price, it's a uh, beautiful wood. And uh, I always liked the, the older full wood style rifles. And as you can see, it's a flint lock. I haven't put a flint in it yet. And it's not bad. You know, the fit and finish on this is, is pretty decent. As, uh, you know, for what I paid for it. The only uh, part that is hurting is this uh, lame ass trigger. I mean, for what it takes to make a trigger tight, you know, that, <laughs> that's pretty pathetic. But strangely enough, the release is, is quite decent on it. So I think I, later on I'm going to do something about this. Um, take it apart. The mechanism is quite simple. I'll uh, bush that, I think, so it's a lot tighter. I mean, that's about the only bad thing I can say about it, prior to shooting it, of course. I, mean, I was quite happy with that Chaparral rifle. It was turned out to be a turd. But uh, this is a real nice looking gun. Um, I have a, a flintlock pistol by traditions. It fires great and it's quite accurate. I've looked up at some comments. Um, some of the things they're whining about about this rifle. Well, some folks are saying it shoots low. Well, it has this high tech, actually, <laughs> front sight, so it wouldn't take much to file that down to raise the barrel. And it's only stamped in there. Uh, you could, uh, I think, what I probably might do if it is off a lot is I'll just get a. Uh, an Italian front sight, say from a Lyman or something, that'll fit in there. Rear sight is a bit of a turd, but again, you know, for what you pay for this thing, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hit this stuff too hard. Um, for 100 meter shots, which is all I'm gonna be doing, whether if you know, line her up at 50, you can make the adjustments with a file on those plain sights. Uh, Traditions does have an adjustable rear sight, it's like a bowed spring-loaded job with a, a screw in the back that you can adjust your elevation with. It'd be as simple as replacing that. That would probably fix up all your problems real easy. And you know it's going to fit the the, uh, with the right size dovetail on it. It's got a beautiful brass butt plate on it. And it goes all the way up here. The fit, fit and finish, you know, is actually quite quite nice. The Italian rifles tend to be better in that regard. This one is pretty good. You know, for what I paid for this gun, I am quite pleased with the uh, the overall quality of it. You know, for less than 400 bucks, well, you know, it's uh, it's pretty nice. They had another one. I forget the name of it, but it's covered with brass. Got brass in here, patch box. Got brass going up here. It's uh, six, it's almost seven hundred dollars. And I'll tell you, the uh, finish on that one isn't half as nice as this one. This one here, for some reason, is all nice and shiny. The patch box, the uh, where the hinges would be here, it was a pretty crappy fit there, so. I uh, looked at this uh, as a really long rifle and uh, I was quite taken with it so I brought it home. So all I gotta do now is uh, I think we'll just have to take it out and uh, do some shooting. Looks like a great day for uh, shooting. Sun's out, it's not windy.